don't you think? No. They're too short. You'll have men ogling your legs every time they buy a packet of ciggies. Yeah, well, I'll be behind the counter, won't I? Yeah. And you'd want to be in that thing and all. Ask Rita for an overall. Oh, you fancy me zipped up to the neck in brine island, do you? Well, you look a lot better than that thing. Well, you like women in short skirts. You're always saying so. Yeah, well, I don't like you in them. Les, she don't wear hotels, apart from skin-tight jeans. Well, it's about time she did, girl of her age. Are you sure you're my father and not my grandfather? Hey, if you've got it, flaunt it. Oh, aye. I? What are you shouting for? We're not. I'm just sorting out my clothes. No point taking any that much to the charity shops. They don't accept rubbish. <laughs> Very funny. Right, I'm off, love. I'll see you later. See you, love, to her. Hey, and don't be eating all the dolly mixtures. The dolly mixtures needn't worry. It's the till she won't be able to keep her hands out of. You watch your mouth. Our Leanne's a good girl, and she's gonna make the most of this job. She won't last the day. Look at you. You should have stayed in bed. Oh, I couldn't sleep. I was tossing and turning all night. Mm, I know. Did I wake you? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I love lying next to you. You should have gone in the spare room. No, never. Well, you better be off. You've got a long journey ahead of you. Mm, I'd rather stay here. Des, you'll be back soon enough. You know I must be the luckiest man in the world. Oh, Des. No, I mean it. Every word. I'll see you. See ya. You'll still be around the corner by now. Will he? Oh, boss pan's got a bit first person on job. So what? It'll be a good time to go and apologise for last night. You think that's the only thing I've got to apologise for to you, Gary? Well, the rest will wait, but a good five minutes of grovelling won't. Oh, well, I'm not in the mood. I'll do it later. Oh, when your eyes are a bit less bloodshot. No, I'll do it after I've done the Robertson's roof, all right? That could take all day. I've got all my life, Gary. OK? No one's been in. I know. You hear everything in that back room. Do you want paying for that, too? No, I don't. You're entitled to a tea break. One in the morning and one in the afternoon under industrial law. But I think it's inhuman to start the day without a drink, so I give you that. Thanks. I don't give you anything else. And the telephone. Yeah? That's for business purposes only. I use it to uh, order stock and talk to the reps. And when I want to talk to my boyfriend in Australia, I go up to the flat. Have you got a boyfriend in Australia? No. Oh. In fact, I don't deal with anyone outside the immediate district. And I get an itemised bill. So any long-distance calls appear on that number, you'll be charged out of your wages. You can trust me, Rita. And you can trust me. But don't trust the paper lads, and keep both eyes on all the customers, no matter how young and sweet they are, or old and docile. Why? Are they all out to rob? No, just presume they are, until you're convinced otherwise. Yeah, I do anyway. I'm not soft, me. Well, you can be as hard as you like here. Shouldn't be too difficult for you. Hiya. Oh, hello, love. Come and sit down. Thanks. Right, well, I'm off. I've got a living to earn. Right, bye, Mike. Bye. Bye, Mr Baldwin. You've been very kind. I'm really grateful to you. Oh, there's no need to be, love. Any friend bye, of ours... Bye, Mike. Is... Oh, bye. Indeed, nice. Yeah, well, most of the time. When he isn't, I just ignore him. <laughs> very easy going with each other. Well, it's either that or commit murder. Are you, uh, are you feeling better? Yeah. My dad's been sick for a long time, Alma. I knew I'd get a phone call sooner or later. You should have said something. That the people at work know the strain you were under. They wouldn't have cared. Of course they would. It would have been another excuse to poke fun at me. They've got the boyfriends to talk about. I've got my dad. Well, I did have. Well, she must be mad. That's all I can say. Have you heard this, Roy? Rita Sullivan's taken on Leanne Battersby as shop assistant. Oh, we've done all right, by Toya. Well, she's OK for cleaning up. Mm. Keep her in the back, you mean? Make sure she knows her place. No, no, no. Toya is very popular with the customers. Now she's lost that aggressive edge to her voice. Well, I suppose you're right. Mm. Rita's been running a business longer than you have, Mug. You shouldn't pick an idiot to work with her. Oh, Leanne's not stupid. That's not what's wrong with her. There's nothing wrong with her. Shouldn't you be on your way to college, Nick? Stay a couple of minutes. I'm not due till half ten. 
that case, I'll take my break now, if that's all right, Roy. Y yes, yes, of course. I couldn't stay in that house another minute, even with desert work. Look, you made a mistake. You've got to be honest with him. He thinks we're the best thing that's ever happened to each other. Yeah, well, he has got a reputation for charming the birds off the trees. Oh, this is not just talk, Natalie. He means it. I was on the verge of promising to spend the rest of my life with him. Yeah, and then you woke up. If this place hadn't been open, I'd be walking the street. Well, you should have done. I might have made a few bob. Love doesn't come back again. Oh, no. When it's packed its bags and gone, you've got to go too. <laughs> uh, Nick, look, I, I'm in a very difficult position. Are you? Yeah, well, I think I know something. Oh, what's that, then? I think I heard something. Now, it could have been something else. What sort of thing is it? Well, it was, you know, talking. You started doing voices? Oh, I heard you talking with Leanne. Now, I, I couldn't help it. I wasn't eavesdropping. Well, when was this? It was when you were planning to go away for the day. Oh, Roy, don't tell my mum, please. Look, look, if there is something that you and Leanne should be telling your mother, then I, I, I would suggest that you do so. I just don't want to know look, until... It is can... nothing to do with me. Well, there's just some stuff look, we've got... please, consider my position in all this. I work with your mother. I, I have the utmost respect for that. All right, I'll tell her as soon as I can. Thank you. I live a bit further down, me. All right, well, we're early, Gary, all right? So your paint's not going to do you any harm, is it? Hey up! Now's your chance! Steve, hold your horses, will you? Yep. Uh, look, owe you an apology for last night. Okay. No, wait a minute. Uh, I'm sorry I was drunk. I embarrassed you. I'm sorry. Okay. No, wait a minute, Steve. Wait, will you? Look, you've apologised. You've even got your words in the right order for you. That was elegant. Oh, very funny. Look, like I say, I'm sober, all right? I've done a morning's work and I know what I'm talking about. Great. So, will you come and have a jar with us? No, I can't. Why not? You've plenty of time. Look, I, uh, I accept your apology. Let's just leave it at that, all right? Oh, be honest. That was better than I expected. Thanks, Alma. Come on in, Carol. Hi. I just uh, popped round to see how you're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm fine, thank you, Mr. Watts. Uh, the staff have asked me to uh, pass on their condolences. Thanks. Ah, uh, Mr. Furman says uh, take as much time as you need. Don't come back until you're ready. Well, that's very thoughtful of him, but I'd rather be at work than sitting in the house by myself. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, these are for you, from all the girls on your section. They have to be remembered. Thanks. Uh, would you like me to put them in water? Or would you rather take them home? Oh, no, put them in water. Ah. They're lovely, Curly. Well, as soon as they heard, they had a whip round. And one or two of them asked for the day off of the funeral, although I didn't realise it was tomorrow well, that... Tell them it's family and close friends only, please. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right, I will, yeah. What, are you going to stay for lunch, Curly? No, no, I can't. I mean, we can't have everyone off, can we? <laughs> no, well, some are more dispensable than others. Thanks for coming, Mr Watts. Ah, it's a pleasure. I, I, I mean, um, I, um... Yeah, well, see you yeah, soon. Yeah, perfect. Bye now. Bye. Bye. They're lovely, aren't they? Fairman send flowers on every occasion. You get the same bunch when you die as when you emigrate. The girls club together for these. We staff discount, 20 pence apiece. Well, what do you think? Very nice. I won't have to do that for another week now, will I? Well, you won't if we don't have any more customers. Otherwise, you do them every time somebody messes them up. And how often's that? Oh, on average, every five minutes. And you do the same with the bars of chocolates and the rolls of toffee. Um, half the trick of short work is finding something to do when there's really nothing to do. Well, I'm enjoying it so far. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Hello. Oh, hiya. Hello, love. Hi. What can I get you? Uh, I just want a couple of words for Leanne, thanks. Right. Which couple in particular? Sherbet lemons? Cough drops? 
Uh, mail envelopes? No, just a few. Look, money has to cross this counter before Leanne opens her mouth. She's not here to be decorative. Well, then you take a minute. A minute of her time. Anyway, you're in luck because we're just closing for his dinner. See you back here in an hour. Oh, you don't need to close, Rita. We can take it in turns to go out if you want. I never leave anyone in sole charge of me bonbons unless I'm absolutely sure of them. And that's never been on first day, believe me. Yeah, but you'll lose an hour's takings, won't you? No, I won't. I usually just nip across to the Rovers for 15 minutes. Most of the time, I don't even... Are you still here? I'll wait outside. Good. Go on, get your coat on. Didn't bring one. You can trust the Battersby's, you know, Rita. I know we're not the poshest family in the street, but we don't con the people that we work for, you know. I'd need that in writing. I mean, look at it. It's like something out of science fiction. Ape man meets elephant woman. They're doing what they believe in. What, swinging from the flaming trees? Who gives us a wage packet? Look at the muck on him. Oh, let's go for your break. I'm sick of your moaning. I mean, what did he do all day? Well, that one's been answering the call of nature. Call of the door, more like. Got a pocket full of the country's money, have you, lay about? I've got a pocket full of dreams, Les. Do you one? I won't touch anything that's been in your... Ah! Ah! Oh, my leg. Are you all right, mate? My leg. Oh, no, no, I'm not all right. Phone an ambulance. Oh, my leg. What has he done to himself? Well, I don't think it's that serious. Hey, I'm in agony here. He'll have a bruised leg in the morning, but I doubt if he's done any real damage. I broke my ankle. I can't put my foot on the floor. We'll x-ray it. See what's going on. It's my back, though. That's the worst. He's had a bad back for years. So he's been telling me. Hey, I know when I'm hurt. I can't move here without pain. Oh, yes. Don't worry. Anything that's wrong will show up on the x-ray. Back pain won't. It never has before. We'll sort you out, Mr Battersby. Don't worry. My job's at risk. Well, your foreman won't expect you back this afternoon. Could be a long wait up in x-ray. We're always full of people with breaks and sprains this time of the year. Yeah, well, I'm in agony. I should be moved to the front of the queue. I'll do my best. Fine talking to the wall. You'll be all right. I know I will. There's not wrong with me. You what? I only tripped in the mud. I didn't feel a thing. I wasn't going to tell Paddy that, though, was I? This could be worth a few, Bob. Les! <sighs> right, Jim. I bet you, Jerry. Have you not been home? No, I haven't been home. I had a pain. Well, get yourself home and get something proper. That's all very well for you, Gary. You've got a wife to put your dinner in front of you, I don't. I'm sure you can manage beans on toast and a cup of coffee. You're not going to that roof again on an empty Shut stomach. Up. Natalie, you can have two pints of bitter, please. One for me and one for the good wife. Coming up. I'll be back in ten minutes, all right? I'll go and get something hot. Is that OK for you? Yes, that's good. Why have you taken her up? Because I couldn't keep struggling on my own. Yeah, but Leanne Battersby. Well, I was desperate for staff. I'll bring them over if you like. Ooh. You're gonna have to jack Jim in. He's a dead leg. He's a good bloke. You've got not to go to after this room. Some old turn up. Rosamond Street Flats. Steve won't give us the job. No, he said he won't give Jim the job. He'll give you a job straight away. You're a good worker. And so's Jim. It's more than that, it's my partner. I wouldn't give up on you, would I, if you were just having it a bit hard? No, but... Well, it's exactly the same thing. Hey, how long have I been here? What does it matter? It's better than working. I'd have finished work by now. I should be sitting in the Rovers. Ah, oh, are you thirsty, love? Could knock a pint back, yeah? Oh, there's a drinks machine over there. Go and get yourself a cup of tea. Oh, you go. I can't move. I'm in pain. What are you going to do when the X-ray shows no broken bones? It's muscular. I can't get off this trolley. Hey, what if I want to go to the lab? You will do with your cup of tea down, yeah?
It's not working. Push the button, stupid. I've pushed all the buttons. Well, kick it. It's out of order. Is there an notice on it? No. Then it's working, then. Well, just take a pound of my money. Well, kick it. Kick it, I said. Kick it. Oh, get out of the way. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, you feel like that? Serves you right. Oh. <sighs> As soon as I saw the name on the file, I knew it was a con. I thought I was OK. I only give it a little shove. You were kicking blue murder out of it. Well, I won't be kicking anything anymore, will I? Not for a long time. Help me up. Well, there's no broken bones on your X-ray. So if there's anything wrong with that foot, it's because you were kicking that machine. It's not my foot now, it's my back. It's killing me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know it is. That's why you couldn't even get out of that trolley, according to this. I had to get off. That thing's unstable. It looked like it was going to fall on our Janice. Yeah, yeah, you're a regular hero, aren't you, Les? Um, doctor won't be long. Have you finished yet? Shh, she's in the back. Well, it's time for you to knock off. We're going to go and see your mother. Tell her the good news. Well, I've been having second thoughts about that. Nick, if Roy knows... Well, he's not sure. Yeah, but if he tells her first... Hello, Nick. Hi. Have you come to pay your mother's papers? Uh, no. Well, I hope you're not spending your student grant on luxuries. Oh, I don't get a grant. No, I'm too young. So what can I get you? I'm just waiting for Leanne. Thought we had this conversation this morning. Yeah, but she's... Working for me. She's nearly finished. And when she has, she can socialise. Up it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Rita. He's a bit king. Well, you could do worse than take a leaf out of his book. Don't you want me back? Yes, I do. Tomorrow morning, same time. Oh, thanks. Hey, I tell you, I said I wouldn't last the day. I'll see you tomorrow, then. We could have been out of here hours ago. They've kept us waiting on purpose. They had sick people to see to. Yeah, you're dead right there. Oh, I only asked for your opinion. You know, people like you should be made to pay for wasting resources. How much they've cost the NHS today? Yeah, well, we've kept you in a job. No, you haven't. You've stopped me, you've stopped the other nurses, a doctor and a radiographer from seeing patients that need our help. Les, come on, we're going. Not to mention the ancillary staff. That's a clear up after you. Hey, I don't leave no mess, me. Oh, no, what about your cups of tea and your towels and your sheets for your trolley? They're paper. Well, they've got to be paid for. It's got to come out of someone's pockets. Look, I'm a working man, me. I'm entitled to a decent health service. Health service? There won't be one anymore if time wasters like yourself get your own way. Oh, get lost. And you had to come here. In an ambulance. Well, I didn't call it, did it? My foreman did. There was nothing wrong with you. State you were in, you could have walked here. You know, you're a selfish, loud mouth. That's it! Les, we are going home. Now, come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. It's the best thing you've said all day. What's up now? Des has just walked in. I can't face him. Of course you can. Do you know, I feel like he's got me cornered. You're going to have to go home with him in a couple of hours. I wish I could stay at yours. Well, you can't. You've got to sort yourself out. It's not as easy as that. Yes, it is. And in the meantime, we've got people to serve. What are you trying to tell me? Throwing myself into the job will help me. Well, yeah, it'll help keep your mind occupied. There's plenty of people out there who'll chew the fat with you. Just walk through the door and smile. Yes. There's a load of people other side of that bar just as fed up as you are, so think of it as, I don't know, huddling together for comfort. Yeah, maybe you're right. Come on. All right, I'll be out in a minute. OK. Rita? Oh, hello. Hi. I hear you've taken on Leanne Battersby as shop assistant. Well, I had to do some to have struggled long enough on my own. Martin had a run-in with Les today. Oh, I didn't hear. Yeah. At the hospital. Pretended to be injured. It was all I can. Well, Leanne's working out all right so far. Hmm. Well, just don't ask her to lift anything heavy, will you? Or climb any step ladders. Battersby's can arrange accidents at the drop of a hat. She'll take you for every penny you've got. How do you get on with young Toya? She's better than Leanne. Of course, she's not the one our Nick's keen on. I wish I knew what he saw in her. A G and T when you're ready, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Now then, she has gone, hasn't she? Because if she hasn't, I'm spending the evening here. 
I have just taken it back. Ah, oh, oh, you're a saint. Or oh, a soft touch. I don't know. Perhaps a bit of both. <coughs> saw you, darling. Just saw you. No, you ever go home? Drop me off hours ago. Where should I go home, Gary? Oh, don't start that again. Look, I've got a wife who doesn't want to know. Uh, Ex-wife. Thank you, Gary. One of my sons lived miles away. I never see him. The other one barely speaks to me. Oh, your Stephen will come round. He wants a bad this dinner. That's not what you said at the time. Are you having a drink or what? Another pint. More like it. Natalie, two pints of your best, please. Yeah. Give us a pint, please, Sam. Well, let's put it this way. I wasn't very happy. He's still talking about Liz Battersby. Mm -hmm. He was right about one thing, though, wasn't he? It was Paddy called the ambulance, not him. Why, well, didn't he even suggest it? Oh, well, yeah, of course he did. Huh. But Paddy's telling me afterwards it's company policy. They don't take any chances. You can't afford to, can you? The workers like that. Well, tell me about it. Every time Les was on the red wreck, he did as little work as possible. And well, Paddy's glad to see the back of him. Yeah. So was Weatherfield General. <laughs> Should've laid him out. I should have put him in hospital. Give it a rest, will you? I'll report him. They can't talk to patients like that. You weren't a patient. You were a con man. I do it myself. Oh, you were out for what you could get. For well, what I was entitled to, more like. Martin Platt is a jumps up nobody. But it were right. You were lying through your teeth. I was in pain. Ha! <laughs> for five minutes. The way you kicked that drinks machine, it looked like you were taking a penalty. Oh, well, it was only a piece of metal. Oh, aye. And how much do you think a piece of metal costs? How much do you think that washing machine costs? A fridge? Or anything? What would you say if Martin Platt came round here and kicked our stuff? It's not the same thing. What my mum's saying is everything has to be paid for. I was injured. Oh, God, you took a bit of a knock. Anybody else that had got up and walked away? Oh, aye. Instead of costing the country thousands, you mean? Instead of costing Weatherfield General a good few quid. They gave me an elastoplast. <sighs> you had an examination and an X-ray. You wasted the doctor's and the nurse's time. They only hang around all day. Like you. Shut it, Leanne. You're getting as bad as them plats. Oh, go to bed, Dad. I will. And I'll do something else. I'll give you a message for that boyfriend of yours. You tell him to stay away from me from now on. Him and the rest of his family. Because if Liz! they don't, I mean it! 